Let's take an example that's a little more complicated. Here's our example with the uh, four different uh, gray levels in that image and their probabilities. So let's compute the entropy of this particular image using the formula we had from before. So I'll use a little spreadsheet here. <clears throat> Here's our gray levels, probabilities. So I need to compute the log here and I'll take the uh, probability P times the log here and then I'll add it all up. So <clears throat> in Excel you can do this um, using the Excel function log and then the number will be that and base 2 will be that. So I just simply copy and paste those and then here I'm going to multiply negative times the probability times the log of the probability. So I get that. And I'll uh, copy and paste that. And finally I'll sum up this last column using the sum function. And I get um, 1.66 um, bits here. So <coughs> the theoretical minimum here is 1.66 Excuse me. Um, and if we looked at um, what we had earlier from that example, we had um, 1.81 bits. So using this particular code, we generated, we had a 1.81 uh, bits per pixel, but the theoretical minimum is um, 1.66. So uh, real quick, we can measure um, the uh, fidelity of our uh, reconstructed image using these measures, uh, root mean square, as shown here, um, or the signal to noise ratio, as shown here. Or there are some subjective measures, for example, um, rating the quality of the reconstructed image on a scale of, of 1 to 10. So if we want to compare uh, compression methods, we can use one of these criteria. So in general, um, the compression and decompression model is shown here. We start with our original image f of xy, or we might have a time sequence of images, in which case it's f of xy and t for time. So the first thing we can do is pass it through a mapper process, and this transforms it to a form that can be more easily compressed. For example, we'll see we can use a Fourier transform or a wavelet transform. Then we take that result, those, those coefficients, and we pass it through a quantizer. And this is an optional step. Um, what it does is it th reduces the amount of data by throwing some of it away. For example, the smallest magnitude coefficients. So if we do this, we're not going to be able to reconstruct the image exactly because we've lost some information. Then we take the reduced data and we pass it through a symbol coder. And this is something that will use the shortest possible code words um, to store the remaining coefficients. So that's our compressed result. Um, and then we, to decode it or decompress it, we'll reverse the process. We'll decode the, um, the codes, uh, undoing what the symbol coder did, and then we'll um, do an inverse mapping, for example, inverse Fourier transform or inverse wavelet transform to reconstruct the image, um, which hopefully is uh, identical or very similar to the original. All right, so I mentioned that compression can be lossless or lossy. lossy. First, we'll look at lossless, where the comp compressed image can be reconstructed exactly. And we'll look at these methods of Huffman coding, arithmetic coding, LZW, or run length coding. First, let's look at uh, Huffman coding. So this is a uh, method that takes advantage of uh, coding redundancy, generates a variable length code as we saw earlier, um, hopefully as close as possible to the theoretical minimum. Doesn't take advantage of interpixel redundancy, so it just treats every pixel as independent. And it's widely used as the symbol coder in many compression methods. 
The algorithm is uh, fairly simple. You first find the gray level probabilities, such as through the histogram, order the probabilities from smallest to largest, combine the smallest two by addition, and then repeat steps two and three until only two probabilities are left. <clears throat> And then by working backwards, generate a code by alternating assignments of zeros and ones. So this is uh, easier explained in an example. So let's take this example. Um, this case we have six symbols with probabilities shown here. These add up to one. So first thing we'll do is sort the probabilities from smallest to largest. So <clears throat> We have um, the largest probability, smallest, largest to smallest. The, the largest probability is a two, with a probability of 0.4. Next, we've got a six, with 0.3. A one is 0.1. A four is 0.1. A three is 0.06 and A5 is 0.04. Okay, so the smallest two we combine to produce um, 0.1. Now we generate a new list, um, again sor sorted. So this one, these just come straight across like that. Um, <clears throat> this one comes straight across and this one will be our new lowest one, 0.1. We then combine these two to get 0.2, generate a new list. So now that's our 0.4, our 0.3, but this 0.2 now becomes um, the third element, and this one, um, whoops, I made a mistake, that's a 1. This guy is now our smallest element of 0.1. So we continue doing this until only two uh, probabilities are left. And this shows the final resulting um, table um, showing the, the final two as a 0.6 and a 0.4. Okay, so now we go ahead and try to reconstruct the uh, or try to construct a code using this table. So the way we do this is we take our final uh, two elements and we assign a 0 and a 1 to those outcomes. And if we look at, let's say, the this 0.4 or a, a 1 symbol, we can see that was generated only from this outcome here, which I just trace all the way back through and that was caused by symbol A2. Okay, So A2 is simple. It has a code of a 1. Okay, So let's do another one. Um, get a color here. If I take the 0, now that um, actually was produced by multiple uh, symbols. And so I need to append a, uh, another binary digit, a 0 and a 1, to that 0. So um, take this first one, the 0, 0. That came from um, symbol A6. So A6 has the symbol 0, 0. Now I go ahead and um, do another one, um, expanding this one now. Um, that came from two possible inputs, so I have to append a um, binary th digit to the end of that one. And again, um, this one comes from symbol A1. So A1 is the symbol, or the code word, 011, and so forth.
So the, the final set of symbols are actually shown um, here, or codes, I mean.